Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert, and I've got myself a copy of the new Ampeg B15N base amp plugin from UAD. This was part of the 8.7 software upgrade, and I I wasn't surprised to see it when I saw it because it has occurred to me in the past that if you're going to model an Ampeg base amp, then this is probably the one that I'd choose. And also, the other Ampeg and and soft tube base amps that have been available on the UAD platform haven't been Unison. And considering Unison is is a good thing, uh, it seems it's, it seemed like an omission that there wasn't one so far that offered some Unison. Taking a quick tour of the UI, it's a it's a pretty straightforward amplifier. But there are two versions of the same amp in here. We've got the 1964 and the 1966 versions. The differences aren't huge, but they're they're significant enough for them to have bothered to do two versions. We have a effects rack which uh, has a noise gate uh, which has high and low pass filters which are assignable to pre or post and uh, we've got input gain and power soak controls which are really nice because one of the things that the that the b15 uh, doesn't do is go particularly loud without breaking up and obviously distortion on bass can be a very good thing so uh, you can adjust the you can adjust the input gain uh, you can uh, pull the power back, like like having a, a, a hot plate or power soak. Um, uh, in conjunction with the volume control on the amp, you can get various amounts of breakup and distortion. Uh, you can switch the horn in or out. Then there are different cabinet, microphone and EQ combinations, which are a, a preset and uh, there's a lot to be looked at in here. Uh, this, it's been done through a B15, through uh, another 1x15 cabinet, through 8x10 and 4x10 cabinets as well, with various microphones from uh, from 57s through uh, D112s through uh, vintage Neumanns and ribbons and lots of other things as well, with or without EQ. Uh, so that's uh, there's an awful lot in there to play with. Something that I do particularly like is you can step through the different options using this plus or minus, or you can set it to change automatically and how often. So taking the tempo information from your host's DAW, you can get it to change presets incrementally every two bars, for example, and it'll flash and step through, which I, I think I think's really nice. So we should probably have a quick listen to what it sounds like. There's an awful lot of ways to tweak your sound in this quite simple looking amplifier, but what I've done is, this is as it opened really, all I've done is I've just turned the volume up a little and uh, it does what I want from any bass amp I use. It's got that low frequency transient, that kind of whoomph that you get of, of air moving and uh, it does it even up high. <laughs> I better stop before the lawyers get involved, but you get the idea. And down low. To give an idea of how nicely it breaks up, if I push the volume here and pull it back a little using the power soak, already hearing it's got that kind of fur around the sound. And I love that. That's... To step through just a couple of examples on here, let's go uh, two two fifty sevens without EQ. As opposed to, uh, and that's on a B fifteen cabinet. As opposed to uh, two fifty sevens on neighbor ten. And uh, one by fifteen with a with an old Neumann. And lastly, we'll try something on a 4 by 10 with uh, a ribbon and a 4 2 one So you hear there's plenty of tonal variation there. Um, so I think we should probably uh, run this in context with some, with some other sounds and, and hear how nicely it sits, because that's the thing that I'm really enjoying about it, is it feels fantastic and it sits beautifully, just giving that kind of low-frequency rumble that I'm after on uh, older, more vintage bass sounds. It also does extremely good pick sounds, of course. And uh, that's not something that I'm going to go into right here, but of course it does all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's run it with some other sounds and see what we get.
So what do I think of it? I absolutely love it. I've been kind of hoping that this would happen, and it has. We've got a Unison B15 uh, on an Apollo with UAD. It's absolutely perfect for my kind of thing because I like those kind of old bass sounds. And this does them brilliantly. It does loads of other things as well, but if you just want a nice, warm, rich bass sound to sit underneath everything else in your mix, this does it in spades. It's perfect. So, yeah, love this, love this, love this. And uh, I've been Julian, and I'll see you next time.